Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing some or of operations. So here are two problems. It's 3 times 6 plus 2 times 7, that's the first one. And then the second one is 6 divided by 3 times 2 plus 3 times 4 divided by 2. Pause for a sec and see if you can try and do these on your own. All right, so you have to remember what the OR of operations are. The OR of operations are, please excuse my dearest Aunt Sally. Notice how I wrote this. You have a PE, that's parentheses, then you do exponents. Then you do multiplication slash division from left to right. And then you do addition subtraction from left to right. So I'll show you what that looks like. So for the first one, there's no parentheses, there's no parentheses in both of these examples, and there's no exponents. So you can kind of ignore those. Then it's multiplication division. So multiplication, you do that from left to right. So you do 3 times 6, which is 18. And in this is addition, don't do this. Do this, which is 14. And then just simply bring down that plus sign. The next thing you're going to do, you did the multiplication division. Then you do addition subtraction. So you just simply add these. What's 18 plus 14? Yeah, that's right, it's 32. So for the first one, 32 is your answer. For the second one, let's see if you did it correctly. What are you going to do first? Multiplication or division? You're actually going to do division first, right? Because you have to look at it from left to right. So what's 6 divided by 3? Yes, it's 2. Then just bring everything else down. Now what you can also do is do some of these steps within the same step. So 2 times 2 is 4. I'm just going to bring down this plus sign. And then let's do this. What's 3 times 4? 12. And then what's 12 divided by 2? Yeah, 6. So, and then what's 4 plus, two, uh, 4 plus 6? Yes, it's just simply a 10. So for your first problem, the answer was 32. And for the second expression, you got 10. That's it.